All right, as promised, we are about to do a trade review of one of our members. Let's get right into it, shall we? We shall. Let's do this. All right, I think we've got uh, Simba up on the plate here. If you would like me to do a trade review of some of your video or some of your trades, come right over here into Trade Vids for Review. If you would like to know how to record yours, I do recommend OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Um, basically inexpensive, not completely free uh, way to record your trading. Let's go in here to watch Simba's trades here and let's do some review. Let me uh, pause this real quick and I've got this little video speeder upper. Let's play, all right. All right, let's see what's our time here. So starting out at time of day, this is 9.30 a.m. Looks like he's right at the open here. So we really should be seeing our hands for the first five minutes, right? Now, let's look at this trade right before it. Look at that one right there. That is a beautiful headshot, power headshot there. Um, so I'd be, uh, timing on that looks like that might have been before 9.30. So trade opportunity there, early morning, you are in the middle of uh, this, like see, that's 5 a.m. So you can't take that headshot right there, but that's a nice headshot there inside of the large king timing. Can everybody see that right there? One of those that you should, you know, if you find this on any kind of trade setup, doesn't matter really what time chart you're working on. If you see one of those right inside of that large king timing, hopefully you are smashing the button on that. Where's your stop go? Right down below there, there's your risk. Where's your top side reward? You know, minimum target at the front of that cross gonna be with favorable direction. So you're looking for target one, target two at, uh, again, minimum target one off of that. You're, uh, because of the directional movement here, you are gonna be, MACV is going to be green at this time. So good play right there um, to play early morning. Um, if you are in the Asian sessions or European sessions, possibly not here in the United States, maybe, um, this one, you've got a red headshot to the short side. Uh, that would have been a tougher one to take there, which turned into a double cross, double move that did not make it all the way down. No surprise, because you had a green dot right in front of it. One that may not have made it all the way, um, unfortunately, and did not, wouldn't have made to target. Uh, let's look at this one though. Then again, very good play there off of that one. Um, looks like at the same time, you're also getting a green dot there. On this one, you had the indication that we've moved up from the left-hand side on our MACV. That is our divergence indicator. So we've got the moves to the north side. You're looking for longs all the way. You got this play. Um, this one, would, again, would have been hard to play against what? How would you have been able to avoid that? Because you are going against MACV at that time and it was gonna be longs favorable even at this point as a pull down. So tough one to take short right there. Um, ends up being to the long side. So there is one two, three plays there, one loser, two winners, um, starting out the morning there. And let's take a peek at what Simba's looking at. But looking at my context, I like to get the context. It looks like we are still to the long side big, although that can shift at the open. And don't forget, there's a huge red omega right here, right? Pay attention to that red omega line. Be careful there. If price starts to come back down and underneath this, we could be down in a ways after you see an omega. Let's see, oh, I can't, <laughs> I was about to expand it out. I'm watching a video. Okay, let's get to it. Double cross reversal there again, nothing to play here at the open. He really should be sitting on hands for five minutes. Um, I'm nervous, we'll see. We'll see if he, this video is short. Looks like it's only about seven minutes or so. Um, let's see if he ends up taking a trade before the no go zone and we'll talk about that. Okay, potential double cross, double move here. Um, is that a straight leg? Yes. So what would be our measurement? We're gonna be measuring from the tip, from here to here, and we're gonna project out to here. What's our time of day though? This is a no-go, right? No-go right now, this is a no-go zone, carry on. Turns into a cluster. But again, at the open, we wanna leave this alone. First five minutes, very, very dangerous. It has to be an absolutely perfect play. All right, he says huge delta on the fives. Um, let's see, fives for him. What is this, top side? Okay, huge delta on the fives. Um, okay, and omega on the ones. 
All right, so he's looking to play the short side. Entry, flow master, trap. Okay, let's take a peek. Oof. Well, if that <laughs> if that was the idea for the play, we are we are way way behind it. Um Yikes. <laughs> okay. If you look at okay, first again, um I would be not wanting to play anything during this time. It would have to be absolutely perfect and you would want to enter in immediately and you are going against Mac V. So this needs to be a tiny target especially because of this time of day so i don't know i i can't i can't approve of this play and this is definitely not an entry this is it's out there um i would have rather you seen okay maybe or maybe play a break of this white line here um possibly right underneath this but again a little bit uh, a little bit far behind on that and again going against that mac v gonna be tough it is the open anything goes here it can kind of be you know you're shooting into the dark here um, I would not be taking this play. I don't think anyone should take a play between 9.30 and 9.35. I've said this over and over again. I don't know why <laughs> it is so hard for people to stay off of the open line. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, you, it's on you. Uh, we had a pretty frustrating conversation in the room here today. Um, that, that this same individual that we were talking about earlier today, he had the same problem. Um, not only taking trades between 9.30 and 9.35, but was also trading a instrument that I don't recommend trading. He was trading on the ES. So uh, folks, I, I hope that you understand why I have the rules. I do not make up the rules just to be a stickler and so that, oh, I can just, you know, have rules and I just wanna, you know, have rules and do what I tell you. I, I genuinely care that you succeed and I just don't think that you're going to succeed long-term willy-nilly and around. If you do not have those rules, if you cannot be disciplined to follow those rules, they're very simple too. It's so simple. I, I, You guys have to tell me. You guys put them down in the comments. Please tell me, why is it hard to follow my rules? They're very simple. I, they're, they're very specific time frames like this one. There's a five minute window, don't trade. Don't trade ES directly. Unless, and why is it that when I say unless, I'm almost hesitant sometimes to even say unless. But I have to because there's obviously a time to trade the ES, okay? The ES, when the market volatility is super high, like maybe this later this afternoon when after post FOMC, when the markets were absolutely going nuts and going super fast, maybe that's the time to trade it. And so you're thinking, oh, well, it's super fast at the open. No, this is not the time to trade. That is superficial speed that comes in at the open. You do not want to be trading the ES. The ES should be more of your guideline. Try, you know, take those trades on RTY, or the Dow and the NASDAQ on those three. Use ES as the guide, please. I'm just trying to reinforce the rules again because we just have so many people making mistakes. Even right now, you know, somebody fully records their stuff, supposed to be, I think he's in his final 40 days. Now look, if you are in your middle 40 days and you're just taking a swing at everything, okay, I'll give it to you. But why not go ahead and apply basic rules like this one, like don't take a trade during that first five minute window unless you're trying to prove to yourself why I don't uh, but I don't know I don't I, you <laughs> you paid to be here so that I could teach you the ways uh, you know use it all right there we go carry on off my soapbox let's see what happens here okay so unfortunately positive reinforcement of a negative right it works out for him here um, again just straight up if you're gonna take an Omega reversal Okay, I would rather you go ahead and take the Omega reversal. If you like, let's roll, let's roll back. The, the proper way to have taken a Omega play, a couple of ways to do it. If you see the setup and it's back here, let's come back, okay? You saw that right there and you're like, man, I've got lots of white lines right here and I've got that right there, fine. Place your stop order right here. Now, I hope people know what that is. We're talking about stop market entry. You can do stop limit or stop market, but you place a stop uh, stop market order right there. So as it, boom, comes down through this, okay, boom, you enter in right there, boom, and hopefully, again, should be towing the water here. Why? Because time of day, um, because you are going against MACV green, right? So if you're going to pump that for a T1 target, you know, you want to grab a bag, you know, grab a, you know, 100, 200 bucks tops, on a trade like this, then do so at your own risk, but do it wisely and do it quick. Like you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. All right, carry on. Yeah, 
right there, boom. So now the entry should come in. Yes, I like that he's posting it in right there. It's like, get in. But then he waits and waits and waits. We break through that line. Then he gets in with that one. Very, very tough. Um, you know, it worked out, right? But I would have rather seen if you're going to hesitate that far, well, then may as well wait for the double cross, double move. This is a double cross, double move. Everybody see that? This is a trickier visual one because they're not right on top of each other. Um, but this is a spread. Are these 15 bars apart? Yeah, about that. And are they in the same location? Yeah. So good play for that, especially because you've got the long leg. You can see the long leg from here to here and you get instantly here to here. You can see that double cross, double move play very, very nicely. Um, but you know, I think it worked out because of that, but that was a little bit lucky there. And time of day, again, still not the best play time. I think I beat that dead horse. I hope everybody's got that. All right, top left I'm seeing, we have now touched the golden ropes up in here. So we're gonna have some play, some areas where you can go back and forth around these golden ropes. Um, we are coming into king timing on the mids there. So just some notes that I see coming back into this area where we had the double cross move from before. So might be some opportunities coming in there and we're approaching big, big timings right here and here. So we wanna be ready, although look at the time, it's still only 9.32 a.m. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So we're right at the double king timing. If there's gonna be something showing up here, again, if we're going to the long side, maybe, but right now this is even shifted over. Oh no, no, it hasn't. All right, this is, uh, there's not enough data on this. Ignore that. This is the main longs favorable right now. So longs favorable still. We did start shifting to the red on the histogram. So again, nervous spot right here. This is why you don't play the open. Not really any bias here that we can take. If I'm looking over here on the left, this is very barely MACV red. So I would have to go with, oh, I'm in the way. Let me get myself out of the way here. You can see the MACV red right here for the instrument, the RTY, but I would be looking at the MACV ultimate for my guide. Although if this is market replay, you don't have that advantage. Um, unless you've got all four instruments and you need to add those together to make sure you know what that bias is going to be, but make sure you have your bias so that your finger is, you know, rolling over the proper, um, proper button. It looks like he's got his mouse. What I do applaud is that he's got his mouse over the red here. He is looking at hopefully Mac V red. Okay. What I tell you very simply, Keep your finger over that red button. He's on a king timing. He's coming into a king timing over here. Could be a play, but he's not taking into account time of day. Have I beat that dead horse? Yes, time of day. Please stop trading between 9.30 and 9.35. Carry on. So huge move up and out of there. Bounces off of the golden rope there ends up being that yes okay so a green dot worked we don't trade just green dots by themselves could you count this as a headshot i don't know your part in here is here to see if that was a headshot i think those are too far apart for me at the same time he's got these very very spread out so it's kind of hard to visually see um so one of those things hit control up up this should not be this flat right you look at your crosses see how flattened your crosses are okay these should not be flat like this okay they you should be you know squared up Right, so uh, control up, up, okay, a couple times, or maybe three times, two, three times. Get this, um, that's how you adjust your chart, um, or you could, you know, there's other ways to zoom in like that, but this is uh, improper. Press this button right here, something too flat here to really visually see this properly. You've got a double cross, double move opportunity showing up in here. That is a very clear double cross, double move, which I showed you guys in the other video on one of my trades that I took earlier today on FOMC day. I keep hitting escape, but uh, all right, let's see what happens here. Another place to re-enter on that double cross. Up, up and away. And by this point, you might be close. So what's our measurement? Uh, if I go from here to here on my pivot, I would also measure one from here to here and one all the way from the bottom pivot if you're going to do uh, a runner right here so those projecting out um, if i'm going to estimate here is here's my large target um, let's do a small yeah so the small is already uh, well no, not quite not quite there and big going to be pretty Pretty close up in there. 
All right, see it? Double cross all move. Again, can't draw on uh, on a video, but there we go. Let's take a peek. Okay, there's a cross, potential ender right there. Okay, so it ends up being the shallow cross target. Again, this is very, very fast action. I don't know if this is normal speed or if he's got this at high speed. Um, very, very fast plays here, um, but the double cross, double move ends up working for the first target version. The seconds would not have worked. Carry on. All right, he says, Flowmaster Trap plus Delta on the ones, double king timing. Okay, so we're double king timing. I see that Flowmaster Trap. Don't know what a Flowmaster Trap is. I don't have a video or a strategy called Flowmaster Trap, so I'm not sure why it keeps calling it that. Delta on the ones. Okay, I see Delta. I see double Delta. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this trade is. I don't know what this trade is. <sighs> it's a short. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not laughing because this is, I, it's, it's actually not funny. It is not funny. Um, I don't know what I'm doing to teach you guys. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes today might be one of those days. Like I'm ready to like throw in the towel here. I've had people. This is not a strategy entry. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, this is this is just guessing. Well, well, <laughs> why? I'm trying to help y'all out. I, I really am. I'm really trying to teach you guys how to trade with the system and I don't I don't know what this is can somebody help me out I don't know I can't I'm, uh, I'm losing my mind I mean ICT is a ginormous fraud and he has minions who will do everything he says I mean they're gonna lose their ass they're going to uh, but at least they're loyal and at least they watch the videos and at least I mean these guys study those videos I have I have seen the racket of these ICT people he has them so conned and and they sit there and they will do everything they will mark up their charts all freaking day long like they're just looking at look I just I can't even and, and, and yet our system is so simple and I can't I can't even get people to execute on it I I don't know I don't I don't get it I don't get it. Okay, here we go. It's 9.35. Okay, so all those trades right now, you know, I, 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 you know my critiques on them. Um, you know, here is the time that we could start looking at trades right here. Let's just take a note and see how much he's going to put on the board um, between 9.35 and... I mean, it looks like we've got a pretty long ways to go in this video because I think this is uh, play, being played at high speed, I think. Um, but here we go. It is... He's up $375. A um, lot of risk taking it during that five-minute window um, and a lot left on the table. I mean, these are these were huge moves in here. So if you're going to take into it, this is just a lot of risk for a little bit of reward. Um, again, I would be waiting till right now, 9.35. So this is go time right now. For those of you guys who actually pay attention to the videos, who actually want to learn how to trade with our system, that would be fantastic. Let's go. Okay, double cross here. Double cross move would be to the short side here. Why? Where's the long leg? Coming in from the north to the south, we've got a long leg. This is a double cross, double move. First play of the day right here. Short, can we take a short? Yes, MACV is red. We have, um, we're not shorts favorable on the day, but again, what I told you before, when we are around the golden ropes, we can play both directions. Um, thing that I don't like is we just got a brand new bar right there. Um, this measurement though, could be, could be good here. Um, let's see if he ends up taking this or not. I don't know, but here's a measure from here. It's gonna be to write about, again, I'm having to eyeball this because I don't have an actual tool here on a video. Um, so this may be too fast to be able to enter, but there's that double cross, boom, taking that uh, short side. 
there is a target looks like right at the the white line down here to the bottom um but yeah i don't think he's gonna have a chance to get in on that let's see super fast again i think he's playing this at high speed i doubt it was going this fast um yeah, in fact, we know it is. Uh, yeah, I just, what am I, I'm silly. Uh, we start at 9.30. This video has only gone by for two minutes and it, it expanded into an entire, you know, uh, multi-minute time frame. So this is at higher speed. Potentially, he could have had time to get on that. I see a little blue bar um, turn point right there. So good, good opportunity to take that um, double cross level move. And very simple, simple play. Trade one, targets filled. Let's see. All right, now we got another double cross coming in right here this turns into a cluster so what am i looking for i want to look for a reversal off and what's my target right there to the cipher target he should be entering into the long side he, right now he's got his finger over the sell button which is okay um, we are over here in red right now so i get that but as we're coming downwards into a cluster i want to take that for a little reversal i'll be looking for little moves especially if i get another green dot in here or something to add to position what's my target going to be right there at the cipher um, that is going to be for about, um, about a two-point move right there. Again, not a lot, but there's um, second bag of the day right there on the lowest time frame. So not too much, but there's trade number two for me. Nope, breaks down. Do we come back up? Boom, there we go. All right, so secondary entry on the return. Boom, and pal to the target. So how this would have played out start one would have quickly stopped out right here or if i'm going to add to that position i'm going to come right here take off partials as it breaks back through i take it again and i enter right there same rules as always same rules as always this is one that i would um, simba if i were you roll back this video and take the trades that i'm showing you now right that would be my advice for really learning from what you've got here over here on the left hand side you also have the blue dot coming in with divergence Right, so good opportunity here to use that cluster line right there. You can see all of them clustered up right there. Boom, as the break comes through, that's bag one uh, quite easily. You've got the blue dot back behind it and the divergence. Um, you know, pretty pretty simple plays there. Double cross to the short side, cluster to the long side. Two try rule on this one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, and you're at um, trade number two on the day. Sometimes if you call your, some people like to take their two try rule. So on a two try, if you want to count that as two trades, that's fine. So you're on trade three on the day or trade number two on the morning right there after 935. Just having waited till that time. Again, I do recommend for everyone. Have I beat this dead horse yet? Please take the trades after 935 if you want to stay in the game long term. Thanks. Headshot to the long side, worth a shot here. Again, I don't know if this is too fast to take. This is one second between here and there, so perhaps that was too fast um, for the headshot entry opportunity. But if we start to come back down this area, I would look for that headshot. We got the headshot over here to the left. We had the blue dot. We had the green up top. I've got a blue up here at the 27. This is a shot we want to try to take, um, unless it's just too fast. So it gives you T1. Oh, and now there's your place to add. So even if you didn't get on the first one, are you gonna add right here? Yes, absolutely. So how much time is this? Was this, uh, was this too fast to have taken? Between here and there, that is... Well, the 22 it's 10 seconds one two three four yeah i mean that's that's plenty of time that is that's tip full 10 seconds between there and there yeah this is uh yeah easy um as far as 10 bagger uh so let's see from there that's uh is that one point so there's one and so is that our 10 oh my wait a minute Holy cow, is this the ones? <sighs> Just time out on everything. Why are we trading on the ones? Okay, if we're trading on the ones, we should be on the tiny ATM. 
All right, everybody understand that? I, I can't see what ATM he's on right now because the whole thing is blurred rather than like I tell people to blur the account number. What do they do? They blur the whole section. You know, um, I ask people to label well and they write stuff that's hard to read. Um, I don't I don't know what's up with our crew lately, but I'm hoping we can start to shape things up a bit. Um, I mean, I see a lot of people crushing it. So I think that, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to th I'm gonna have to ponder things, honestly. Um, let's carry on. I can't, this is, this is that the ones? Ah. Okay, so uh, I made an assumption. I guess I should have looked all over the charts. I did not think anybody would be trading down here on the ones. Why? Why, why are we trading on the one? I, I don't know. I do not know. No, nobody's following the rules. Nobody wants to follow the very simple rules, the things that I lay out. I, I don't. I don't know. Yes, you can play down here, but <laughs> should be on tiny ATMs. Oh my word! Beautiful play. Okay, so. I, I help me out, people. I, let me help me to understand. Why do you take strategies that are not strategies at all, and then you pass up trade strategies that are absolutely positively our setups? I'm I am literally trying to figure that out. I can't I can't for the life of me I can't figure it out. I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on here. I don't I don't know why we're not taking these setups. I don't I don't know, and I don't know why we're taking others. Honestly, like this is a this has turned into a venting video. Um, I get it, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, you know, this may be so negative. Hey, you know what? I, I I'm trying to keep this channel over here on the new Algobox channel positive. But what what are we doing here? <laughs> this is this is hurting my brain. Double cross into a shark back here is a play for the long side now the mac v technically has been red solid through this place we've gone green here um, i can't tell what the mac v ultimate would be but i would still give this a shot regardless it's a shark back plus i've got double crosses in it you might be thinking well hold on wouldn't i take a double cross little move well what do we know when you have a this is this out in the open no there's something around it um, i should have gone ahead and made that green okay we're green here into a box. We're going to take a shot at this up and out. Now, again, we're on the ones like this totally changes my whole perspective on all this. So, you know, tiny target for up move on a T1. Um, but yeah, sorry. I, like when I measure visually, I expect these to be certain links being off of twos or threes. And now that I'm seeing these on the ones. I'm like, wait, from there to there. Why is that one point? That's two. Whoa. Because we're all the way down here on the ones, um, you know, you got to set up for bigger plays. Anyhow, um, let's see how this one goes. Okay, so it would have hit targets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I do not know, Simba. What we're what we're playing here? I mean, I'm hoping you're getting something from this. Sometimes you can learn a lot from what not to do. But why? Why am I just passing up all these opportunities of what to do's? Am I, am I losing my mind or is it you guys? I don't know actually anymore. What was that? J hook, headshot and King Tommy. What did he just press to that? I missed something. He immediately stopped out. Did he go short right here? Okay. I mean, technically, you could take that as a headshot that is within 15 ticks. It's right at the stop out point of a J hook, though. Um, so, not the greatest headshot on that. And we are technically going green. We're green, green. I don't know. I don't, I would not have seen that as a play. I would have seen this as a play. <laughs> Help me out. How, how is this not a trade for you, but this is? This is like right inside of the large king timing lines. You're right in the middle of these. And, and you got target one and even target two if you want to exit right there. But you went short right here. I'm really trying to, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying. J hook, headshot, and king timing. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This J-hook was way over. Do you guys even watch the videos at all? The J-hook, the, here's the trap. Here's the curve. Here's the hook. You see those green lines right there? This, this is the, the J-hook entry here. If you're going to take a J-hook short, this is not a J-hook plus headshot. A J-hook headshot would be somewhere here or up here around target one to get down to target two and three if if you're going for j-hook action here but this is not a j-hook in the proper direction we're green on the mac v we're longs favorable like this j-hook is not going to work out it's already stopped out and you're taking a short here why are you labeling this j-hook headshot plus king timing now listen simba came from ict okay so I've got to give some brain cell, brain damage scenarios off of having come from ICT, okay? But I think ICT students at least label right, bro. This isn't even labeled right. What are we doing? Are, are, are people trying to embarrass me? Is that what it is? Is that, is that what it is? Like, have I, um, I don't know, I've pinched nerves on people, so now it's like we're gonna, we're gonna embarrass you? Well, I'm embarrassed, I'm, I'm, Congratulations, I'm embarrassed. Um, all right, so he's entered in. There was technically a headshot here, okay? But I don't know that I would say with a J-hook. The J-hook is over, it stopped out, so stuff on there. All you're taking here is a headshot short. I do like that you technically up here have a, it's a PRZ, red, I think it's a crab. Doesn't matter what kind it is, it is a, um, it's red. So you're inside a red zone with a headshot, okay. But why label it a J-hook with that? Um, I don't, I don't even know. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that's cool. Um, if you hadn't labeled it J-hook, but listen, like, <laughs> you're reinforcing all these bad things for yourself. I hope I'm unwinding them. I mean, I'm, I do, I hope that I hope I'm that screaming coach on the side of the the court there yelling at you like what are you doing get your head in the game is that is I hope that's happening and I hope you're gonna become you know uh, Michael Jordan or Brett Favre or whatever sport it is that I'm yelling at you about here um, please improve All right um, if you had said okay I'm inside a red crab on the fives and a headshot fine but you call this a headshot with a J hook, bro? What are you doing to me? Come on, get. I'm. I'm okay. I'm just. I'm gonna call myself coach here. I'm not. I don't usually think of myself as coach, but listen, I'm telling you, get your head in the game, son. Got a weird double cross right there. Um, tough spot there. It does look like a shot down. If you're going to do a double cross, double move there, that one immediately stops out. There's no chance for a two try rule. So again, at this level on the ones, this is gonna happen so fast on the ones. The stop out on one of these is, it's it's not even four ticks. Uh, well, it's four, it's four ticks. With a slip, it's maybe five. So five tick loss on the ones. Okay, there's a headshot. Okay, but it breaks through. And that's not so. Could we have taken that headshot? No. Why? Because Mac V is green, right? He's got his finger over the buy. I gotta applaud with the parts that are good, right? The positive parts are that he's got his finger over the buy side here. He's not fidgeting around with the charts. I've seen a lot of that. So let's let's talk about some positives. He's not fidgeting with the charts here. Okay. He is on the green side looking over here. That's good, green, fantastic, okay? He laid off, didn't take that red headshot. I just happened to note that it did come by. He let it pass, good. Very, very good, love it. He should be to the buy side. Okay, we're in the large king zone. Okay, large king zone. Do we have anything else up top? No, just a green dot by itself. We can leave that alone. 
Um, technically, it is a delta though. So we got a big delta. It's the second one. It's the biggest of all these for the last pff, who knows how many bars. So this is technically a delta dot inside of large king timing. Can you take this trade? Yes, yes, you can. T1, right? At least T1. There's nothing wrong with taking T1. We should, though, still be on tiny. Why? Because we're inside the ones. Here's the thing about being down on the ones. You've got to take more trades. If you're going to trade the ones, right? You got to take a lot of trades. Why? Because you're, you know, you're targeting like you're getting five ticks. So you have to literally, you know, you have to do double the work, right? To get the profits. Everybody understand that? Like on the ones, you're going to get lots of trade opportunities, but they're little tiny ones, right? Like tut, 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 tut. you got to be grabbing bags, little tiny bags down here if you're going to be down on the ones. So um, I hope, I hope y'all are absorbing stuff with this. I hope it's helpful. Carry on. I just feel like I'm very negative here, but yeah, I mean, it worked out like a champ. Again, why would this dot have worked by itself? No. Why did it work? Because we also had, we had, this is a delta dot play, right? I teach you guys this. It's landing right in timing too, right? So you got three great things going with it, plus four, because you got the MACV in your direction. Um, you did have a previous green behind it. Um, well, I don't think that happened at the same time, or did it? Is that the same dot? Hold on, I gotta see that. No, that was prior, okay. What's our time of day here? We're at 9.43. All right. So um, I think he put in there 9.40 reversal coming up at some point. The market has been moving up, 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 up between 9.40 and 9.50. We're looking for a reversal. So we could see a head fake somewhere in there now, right? So we have to be careful of that. Our default should be finger over the buy. However, if we get a nice trap set up up in here, then we will take an entry strategy. Hopefully an entry strategy. I, don't, I know earlier it was looking like he was talking about traps. If you see the trap and you see the reversal, but you need an entry, all right? Let's carry. Here comes King timing, large and King timing. Okay, I don't see any setup there. Nothing to play right there. Okay, there's the red, wait for a cross. No cross. Okay, now. We've made the move down as we come back up. Potentially, we may have that setup come any moment now. Let's see if the reversal comes, 949.50. There's a double cross here. So double cross, double move first, right, to the long side. Be careful of it. If we break back down through it, then we can take the reversal because of what? Because of the time of day. This is the zone. If you are a 940 to 9.50 player, right, we are looking for the reversal in this area in this location. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, there's our signal for the reversal, right? Now we have the Delta flush. We got the Delta flush. The imbalance is here now. So we want to look for a trade opportunity short after this location, right? Why? This is the little reversal play we take there between 940 and 950. Let's see how it goes. Got our lines there. Right, also imaginary line right here. You can set these up to draw horizontals, okay? I wouldn't do it here on the lowest time frame. I tend to do it on the higher time frames, but this is a spot where you can turn on horizontals here. This would show a red horizontal line right there and a break of that we'll be looking for is short. So the previous double cross, double move ends up working. So we've got dot to dot, dot to wherever this is gonna be up top. Okay, and we've got another one coming in. Again, I would play them to the long side until otherwise, until we, again, until we break below this, we're not looking for that reversal. There's the reversal play, okay? So up here, double cross the move, all the way up, another one. Where is the entry? Easy measurement. Sometimes you need to figure out which pivot, but right now, isn't this an easy one? Why? Because we have a cross. So cross to double crosses, crosses, targets up above. Ready, go. One tick from a stop there. Did not stop out, so still riding. No need for a two try rule here. Boom, target filled.
There to there, there to there. Everybody see it? All right, another double crossable move play. Love them. Again, now there's a bunch coming in here. Why? Because we're on the ones. I want everybody to pay attention, understand. This is not normal. You're not normally gonna see this many coming in, but on the ones, you are. Mind you, they're not gonna be as big a plays, right? Again, here to here, normally, I mean, that could be 15, 20 ticks on a twos or threes. We're down here on the ones, so this is worth um, again, I don't even play down here that very often. So is this like eight ticks? Um, oh, sorry, the move is from here. But here to here, this one's a bigger move. So again, nice play right here because you got a big leg, right? Big leg, big move, right? Here though, you have a short leg. Here, from here to here, uh, that is 17 fours. to nine. Oh shoot, this is RTY. <laughs> okay, my bad. Um, these are, these move in uh, point ones, point one, point two. So there's, <laughs> there's actually 10 ticks per each one of these. Oh my word. Anyhow, I am uh, sorry. I'm very flustered at uh, a lot of stuff going on here today. Um, people have been wondering like where I've, I've been recently. So we're, uh, you yeah, know, this is top of market right now. So we're selling some of our rent houses. So I've been doing a whole lot of that and dealing with uh, some legal stuff um, with uh, our lawsuit against State Trader Paradise, against Shane Fields. And then we'll come back around dealing with uh, Jigsaw and ICT clowns. So just been a little bit busy lately. So getting back into the swing of things, but uh, <laughs> we had some conversations in the room today. Very, very tough conversations. Um, had that windfall day today, and tomorrow should be a day to lay off, um, as we talked about in the prior video. But um, anyhow, sorry, I'm uh, looking at this and didn't realize that um, this is RTY at point ones um, per tick. So um, keep that in mind. Carry on. So beautiful. Okay, it's 948. All right, we end up putting in another alpha now. Did we get a green in front? No, it's not quite close enough. Um, can't just take a reversal off of that. Oh, there it is. We've got the divergence up top. See if we get the divergence, that would be the signal for the reversal. Yep. Where is it? Are we gonna take a play here? No, nope, not gonna take a play. Okay, all kinds of reasons for me to take this play here. On high time frame, I've got divergence. Um, mid time frame, I've got the divergence. I've got the king timing lines. We've got a, another delta line. We're coming into a cipher and a red dot here. I would be taking a first shot at a short here. Down to, where's your target? You got 1720 here for a target. Everybody see that? And on the fives, that is a big target. Um, that's up there at um, 25. So that's a 50 tick drop right there. 50 tick drop. If we go all the way to the gold line, that's going to be um, another set of 30 or 40 ticks. Very nice. He's got his finger over the buy. Okay, I see why. Again, all green here, but I'm still thinking 940 to 950. Um, I'll be wanting that reversal. Talking that 940 reversal. Okay, so he, he is noticing now that he's looking for a reversal. Okay. If he gets that reversal. He is past king timing. He wants a setup. Doesn't get anything though other than that red dot back there and set up there. There's one red dot. Red dot up top, so it could be a confluence dot. Stuff right there. Okay, so we come down, we land on the white line. That's so you don't get two targets out of this. And now it looks like he's looking to the long side. I see why he's got a Smurf dot up top. Um, I don't know. Tough for me to uh, to get a read on that. I think he's got Mac V green. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And. Smurf dot back here. Okay. 
gotcha. I would just be very weary because of the divergence firing off on these. So uh, target one type scenarios, that looks like these targets are way, way out there. Um, I don't know that I'll be targeting that far. Um, I hope that works for them, but eesh, very scary. Okay, now it turned into a double cross, double move here though. All right, so <laughs> I hope. So this is that moment where, again, I don't know how much time traversed between here and here. Um, but if that's if that's 30 seconds or so. So double cross, ends up being a double cross. So I think that's, if this works out, this is because it became a double cross double move. Not because of this, this is not a play. And even on that Smurf dot, if he's saying a Smurf dot, which I saw him typing in text, which um, I would I would work on labeling. I mean, look, I know I'm nitpicking here, but, but why label at the top of this video with big white text that can hardly be read? It's very thin text, hard to read, just so much. Um, I, again, I hope that you're gaining something from this and it's not just me complaining. I know, I'm sure that the, the comments are going to be, you know, all kinds of negative down below, just as negative as I'm being here. And um, I don't care as long as you guys are succeeding with it. Um, if you guys have a better way for me to give you critiques, let me know. I mean, do you guys want me to just like pat you on the back and tell you, you know, the good parts of everything you want? Or do you guys appreciate these videos? Is this good? Is this good critique and feedback? Um, it feels very negative, but I mean, <laughs> can somebody do a video where you do everything right? If anybody wants to make one of those for me, I'd uh, really appreciate it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys are getting something out of a lot of what not to do's. Um, but let's carry on. Right into large timing here. Hopefully he gets a dot. Get the in position. He's got his finger over the close. So I guess there wasn't even a thought to do a double cross double move there. Maybe he's not a double cross double move player. Um, I don't really know. Maybe I should have our videos practice for that or something. Oh my word, is that it? We don't even, we don't even get to see if this plays out? <laughs> I was say guys plural. Maybe, maybe it's just Simba trying to give me a hard topic. Maybe he's an ICT plant. He did come from ICT. All right. Uh, okay. I would be, I would be measuring out. Like, why not measure? Look. Let me say something else. In one of my last videos, I taught you guys the other ways to even play on a double cross double move. Even you got to at least see this, right? I mean, you got to see that. So do the measurement at least for me, okay? And then project out the secondary move. And if you don't get in on the long side, okay. And maybe even if you pull it early because you're chicken, then when it gets up here to the gold line, though, why not have a setup for reversal off of the gold line? I don't. Oh, man. I hope there was something to learn from this. There it goes. Um, again, you can learn a lot from your negatives all right we do we all learn we all learn a lot from our mistakes in life and um i'm hoping that this is it right um he ended up walking away with 680 dollars but i think that this 680 dollars is is reinforcing a lot of negative stuff here man um I would love to give this assignment to you. I hope, um, like, look, I know what's happening here. As I'm doing this, I can feel it. Like, if, if I were maybe being critiqued like this, I know that there's a temptation to be like, oh, well, I'm never going to make a video again because this is what happens. Look, that's a, that is a personal feeling. You need to put your personal feelings aside when it comes to trading, okay? Trading has nothing to do with your feelings. Nobody's going to pat you on the back or hand you your money back because they feel sorry for you when the market rips it from you. You got me? Um, and I'm not trying to justify the way that I'm talking. I wish I could talk, you know, nicer about this. I'm just, I'm very, very saddened and frustrated by the, um, the lack of entries on even setups here. Um, I mean, I would have even, look, I would have even given you applause to take this headshot down here to the long side. I think you had your finger over the buy button the whole time. Why not take the, why not take the headshot to the long side? Huge play there. Yeah, you're like, okay, well, it would have stopped out. Yeah, but what about the two try rule? 
Like you stop out right here and it comes right back into it. Take it. Then you got a double cross double move to the long side. I can't really tell um, if I had my, you know, actual deal. Is this? I mean, it's so close. Like you're within, you're within ten, you're within ticks away from that target. I don't know if I drew my box properly. Looks like that box box needs to be a little bit taller, so it's probably right there. Um, but I have a feeling that's gonna get there. Um, anyhow, lot of uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, my assignment back to Simba. Sorry, I got caught off there because I don't think he's going to do this, but. Listen, whatever day this is, I can't tell what the date is on this, um, but I would go back and I would do this again. I would market replay this, take the critiques that I just showed you. Could you please do this video again? Like taking the trades that um, I've taught you, like you re need to re you need to undo this habit. Like you need to trade this two, three times in a row to override what you have put into your brain because this is positively reinforced. You got dopamine hits while you're taking these trades that have reinforced bad things. You got me? Um, I want good things for you, I do. Anybody, everybody who is within the sound of my voice, I want good things for you. You've got to take the setups. You have to take and trade the strategies with our system. Um, this, this was not it, okay? Um, Go back, do it again. Um, I would be curious of what would have happened on, you know, the twos even. If you're going to take here down on the ones though, I mean, you got to think like tiny, I hope, I can't even see what ATMs, but those look like they were pretty far out. So I don't know if you had the right ATM or not. Um, maybe you can give me some feedback. Tell me down in the comments of this video, whether you did or you didn't. Um, hopefully I haven't um, been too negative on you where your feelings are hurt. And now you're not going to, you know, trade with it anymore. not going to do any more videos. Um, I do think you should just do this one over, right? I think. Um, or you know what? You guys give me critical feedback. You guys give me some feedback down below. Tell me how I can teach you better. How is it that, or am I being too negative? I, I don't know. I am, I'm at a loss for words here. Um, I feel like I'm a bad teacher, honestly, at this moment. And maybe I am. Y'all tell me because I don't know what was just taken here, what trades are being taken here. Um, I didn't see much of any of my teachings here. I didn't even see the names of my stuff. Um, do y'all not watch the videos? Do you, do you not learn from me? Do you just, um, you know, watch a few videos of mine and then you just, um, you know, rather than absorb it and like write the names down and write your own like glossary of terms and stuff like to, to know stuff. So you just like, just go willy nilly and you just start turning the system on and just thinking what the, well, this looks green. Well, that looks red. This looks green, pink, red, uh, you know, and just, you just do what you want to do. I don't know. Um, he's not the only one. Again, I saw, yeah, there's, there was one other person today um, that we saw in there. Although, you know what? I, I can't be too negative. I am going to do the review video on the last two days. I've seen outstanding numbers. It's July the 5th. It comes back in after a short holiday week because July the 4th was on a Monday. We had Monday off. So you start in on a Tuesday, July the 5th. Big move, big moves, followed by FOMC day today on Wednesday. Good, good, big numbers in the room. Although I saw some people struggle on FOMC. Look, that's normal. There can be those big moves. All of a sudden, it changes so much on you. It's okay. Go back and practice those kind of days. Again, the practice is what's going to do it. But if you are practicing wrong, this is my concern. If you are practicing and reinforcing bad things, practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. But remember, you do not have to be perfect to be profitable. I don't mind if you mess a few things up here and there. Okay, but you've got to go back and correct them. If you're going to be good, you have got to practice at least good. It does not have to be perfect, but you have to you have to practice good. This was literally bad. Bad to the bone.